in this video we are going to show you how to construct a simple on-site biodegradable toilet waste biodigester now the simple on-site biodegradable biodigester toilet system in ghana uses anaerobic technology whereby microorganisms break down biodegradable materials in an oxygen free environment these biodigesters that this channel consistently talks about are used as simple biodegradable means of disposing of human waste which is also in sharp contrast to a septic tank or a cesspit tank. The digesters are also not the same ones that produce gas or biogas as an output. With that out of the way, let's get into the steps that are needed to construct this simple on-site biodegradable waste toilet biodigester. After site selection, preparation and marking, the next step is obvious, that is the digging. For this type of digesters, we prefer them in rectangular shape mainly because of the bedding materials that we were using when they became prominent. Digester should ideally be sited at a well drained area. For this particular installation, the type of soil we met is great, a mixture of loamy soil and sandy soil with gravels making it ideal for so-called pit construction. In your case, make sure that when you are digging, you get the measurement right. You also need to take into consideration the slopes and gradient for the digesters of wastewater and its drainage into the so-called pit. So from your site marking and digging, this shape or a diagram like this is what you are trying to achieve. That's a rectangular shape for the digester and then a circular shape for the so-called pit. The digester can range from 5 feet length and 2 to 3 feet breadth or width and a depth of up to two and a half feet. The key consideration in your digester size mainly depends on the number of users and type of property you intend to put the digester to use. In this instance, it's for a two bedroom house. So we are going for the standard size family bio digester. The next step to follow is to lay the blocks as if you are using blocks for your work or erect the prefabricated slabs. With the required depth and size achieved, the next step is the erection of the biodigester bed. Usually, there are two types of materials used for this. We have the normal block laying process or bricks, but we usually recommend if you're a beginner, use the blocks, but then the prefabricated slabs, which can be done off-site and brought to site for installation, is equally very good to use. And in our case, that's exactly what we are going to use. Now we have erected our slabs and fastened the loose ends together. This will be held and further strengthened with mortar at all the joints, the four corner joints of the breaker slabs.
Or the next stage is to prepare a soco pit and then the drain area. The soco pit is basically like a soak away. It has to be filled with stones for the easy penetration of the wastewater. So in preparation for the soco pit, you need to consider the users and probably the lifestyle of the people who are going to use the facility. If heavy users, then the big soco must suffice. For a standard typical biodigester, a three feet circular or diameter soco pit should be okay. The key consideration here again is to ensure that it's deeper than the digester bed and has enough slope to let out the black water from the digester bed. The next step is to insert a drain or a shape pipe into the bio digester. The waste drain pipe or better store the leche pipe is a key differentiator when it comes to biodegradable waste biodigesters. Because you are looking to achieve a digestion through an anaerobic process, you will want to have a way to filter water that comes regularly into the biodigester. This is where the leche pipe comes in. So we will connect it into the soap pit to do just that. Do screening inside the biodigester box with sloping leading to the leche pipe and also leading into the soak hole pit. With mortar mist at the required ratio, you have to do screening of the digester bed floor. In some cases, and depending on the soil, a concrete mixture could also be used. But it is important to ensure that you have a gentle slope all the way from the flush unit inlet to the outlet where the leche pipe will be placed. This ensures that there is a continuous flow of wastewater from the digester bed and from experience, most of the problems that comes with ineffective biodigesters is this part where wastewater does not seep out regularly and smoothly out of the biodigester bed. A mixture of water and human waste is never good for any biodigester and that could probably lead to scents and other things that people complain about when biodigesters are done for them. So the key for you here is to know that when you are doing a biodigester, the wastewater must always be out. That's the only way you can ensure easy biodegradation and the microorganisms can work in your favor. So hope it construction. Fill the soco pit with stones or rocks or broken blocks depending on which one is available to you. This allows for easy penetration of the wastewater into the earth surface and allows for longer use. So in our case, there are a lot of broken blocks that we found on site and exactly what we are going to use. So we are going to fill the soco pit to the desired level, making sure that it goes above the leche pipe all the way to the top before using a black polythene bag to cover it. You can also use a rubber carpet in this case. What this does is that if no concrete or pavement or tiling is done on the ground of the compound, rainwater will not render the soco pit ineffective. When you do a soco pit in this particular format and you do not cover where the wastewater from the digester is coming and the rainwater comes from the top and goes directly into the soco pit, it will fill it up and water will be forced to return possibly through the leche pipe into the biodigester and rendering all the work that you have done ineffective. So that's why sometimes we also ask homeowners who are considering biodigester to make sure that they secure around the biodigester if there's not going to be any ground works, they can also do, they can grow their green grass or do any landscaping activity around the digester just to take away some of the water will render the so-called pit ineffective. The 
next step is to fabricate and install the biodigester filter bed. To support the digester bed and its subsequent load, use bricks, blocks, or in our case, specially designed porous slabs for the bed support. Place them neatly along the edges of the biodigester from one end to the other. If it is a bigger digester bed, an extra blocks or stones can be used to ensure that there is enough weight to hold the bedding material. That's the load. Also ensure that there's spaces to allow for the wastewater or the black water to have an easy passage all the way into the leche pipe through to the so-called pit. The next thing to do is to place the previous concrete or the porous slabs on these particular blocks or slabs. This is done mainly for the enhanced filtration of the waste water. The porous slabs or the previous concrete have become a game changer in biodegradable biodigester construction industry in Ghana today. The earlier biodigesters that we were doing used wire mesh which were susceptible to corrosion over time. So you will usually be asked not to use any hard detergent like a parazone since it shortens the lifespan of the biodigester bedding materials. Porous slabs or pebbles concrete has removed all these doubts. Now ensure that the slabs covers the complete digester bed from end to end and then cover the bed with fiber net or mosquito netting. Make sure you tack it to the sides and then tack it from end to end as well. There must not be any space left around the digester bed. Talking about the fiber net and the mosquito net, any of them can be used but with time and with experience, we've realized that the fiber nets have a stronger effect and they, have, they can last longer. So all you are trying to achieve is to make sure that the homeowner has got value for their investment. So your duty is also make sure that you use the right materials and then the fiber nets obviously is a better option to use than the mosquito net because that one can easily biodegrade as part of the materials and you have to replace it within a short time. next thing to do is to cover the net with your chosen or available biodegradable materials. In our case, we are going to use the beaten coconut husk which has been treated into a fiber. So we call them coconut fiber. So you ensure that the fiber covers all the surface of the digester bed and is spread all across the digester bed to receive the human waste. And finally, cover the biodigester with the top slab and then seal it, making sure that it is sealed airtight. Use mortar to seal around the digester and design it to suit desired look and feel. <laughs> 